Welcome to Do the Math America. I am Charlene Math Shaman. Solving two step equations is found on pages 111 through 114 of the beginning algebra book. Please use the link to the PDF file of this textbook in the description box below this video to make a hard copy for yourself. This book is out of print and is not available otherwise. As in my previous videos, I will animate the examples for you. Problem 1. Solve 2x plus 3x equals 15. First, we combine like terms. 2x plus 3x equals 5x, which we write on the next line, and we bring down the rest of the equation equals 15. We isolate x by dividing by 5, and whatever we do on the left-hand side of the equation, we must also do on the right. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. 1 times x equals x on the left-hand side of the equation. On the right-hand side, 15 divided by 5 equals 3. x equals 3. Now we check our answer by substituting 3 in for x in the original equation so that we have 2 times 3 plus 3 times 3. Does that equal 15? On the next line, we simplify 2 times 3 equals 6, plus 3 times 3 equals 9. 6 plus 9 does equal 15. The answer is correct. Problem number 2. Solve 2x minus 3x equals 15. We start by combining like terms. 2x minus 3x equals negative 1x. On the next line, we bring down negative 1x equals 15. To isolate x, we divide by negative 1, which we must also do on the right-hand side of the equation to keep the equation balanced. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 is just 1x or x. On the right-hand side, 15 divided by negative 1 equals negative 15. So x equals negative 15. Now we check our answer by plugging in negative 15, substituting for x in the original equation, 2x minus 3x equals 15. So we rewrite that as 2 times negative 15 minus 3 times negative 15. Does that equal 15? And we simplify. 2 times negative 15 is negative 30. Negative 3 times negative 15 will be a positive 45. So does negative 30 plus 45 equal 15? And the answer is yes. So the solution above, x equals negative 15, is correct. Problem 3. Solve 4x plus 6x equal negative 5 plus 8. Once again, we begin by combining like terms. 4x plus 6x equals 10x. And on the right-hand side, negative 5 plus 8 equals 3. We isolate x by dividing both sides of the equation with 10. On the left-hand side, 10 divided by 10 equals 1. 1 times x equals x. On the right-hand side, we have 3 over 10 or 3 tenths. Now we check our answer by substituting 3 tenths for x in the original equation. So we have 4 times 3 tenths plus 6 times 3 tenths. Does that equal negative 5 plus 8? Which gives us 3 on the right hand side of the equation. And now we simplify on the left hand side we have 4 times 3 tenths, which equals 12 tenths, plus 6 times 3 tenths, which equals 18 tenths. Does that equal 3? So 12 tenths plus 18 tenths equals 30 tenths, which is 30 divided by 10, which does equal 3. So the solution, x equals 3 tenths, is correct. Problem number 4. Solve negative 4x plus 6x equals negative 5 minus 8. 
Once again, we begin by combining like terms. Negative 4x plus 6x simplifies to 2x equals minus 5 minus 8 simplifies to negative 13. So now we divide both sides by 2 to isolate x. We have x on the left-hand side and negative 13 halves on the right-hand side which simplifies to be 6 and 1 half, or negative 6 and 1 half. So x equals negative 13 halves, or negative 6 and 1 half. Now we check our answer by taking negative 13 halves and substituting that for x in the original equation. We rewrite that as negative 4 times negative 13 halves, plus 6 times negative 13 halves equals minus 5 minus 8. And we simplify. On the right-hand side will be negative 13. And on the left-hand side of the equation, 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So now we have negative 2 times negative 13, which simplifies to positive 26 plus 6 divided by 2 is 3, and we have 3 times negative 13, which equals negative 39. So does that equal negative 13? 26 plus negative 39 does equal negative 13. So our solution, x equals negative 13 halves, is correct. Problem number 5. Solve 6y equals 8 minus 2y. In this case, we begin by transferring or isolating like terms on one side of the equation and the numbers on the other side. We bring negative 2y on the right-hand side of the equation over to the left-hand side of the equation, and we do that by adding both sides of the equation with 2y. On the left-hand side, we have 6y plus 2y, and on the right-hand side, we have 8 minus 2y plus 2y. So minus 2y plus 2y cancels and equals 0, which leaves us just 8 on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, 6y plus 2y equals 8y. Now we isolate y by itself by dividing both sides of the equation with 8, leaving y equals 1. Now we check our answer, substituting 1 for y in our original equation. So we rewrite the equation as 6 times 1 equals 8 minus 2 times 1. And we put a question mark over the equal sign. And we simplify. 6 times 1 equals 6 on the left-hand side. And the right-hand side is 8 minus 2 times 1, or 8 minus 2, which equals 6. The answer, y equals 1, is correct. Problem number 6. Solve 2 and 4 tenths n, or 2.4 times n, equals 1.8 n minus 1.26. We begin by combining like terms, so we bring 1.8 n over to the left-hand side of the equation by subtracting both sides of the equation with 1.8 n. So on the left-hand side, we have 2.4 n minus 1.8 n equals 1.8n minus 1.8n minus 1.26. On the right-hand side, the 1.8n minus 1.8n cancels to 0, which leaves us to minus 1.26 on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, 2.4n minus 1.8n, we do the calculation on the side, 2.4 minus 1.8 equals 0.6. I like to write 0 0.6 to make it clearer. 0 0.6 times n equals negative 1.26. And we isolate n on the left by dividing both sides of the equation with 0 0.6. 
So on the left hand side, we have n by itself. And on the right hand side, we have negative 1.26 divided by 0.6. We do that calculation on the side. 1.26 divided by 0.6. We move the decimal point over and the division equals uh, 2.1. Now we check the solution, n equals negative 2.1 by sub substituting negative 2.1 for n in the original equation. So we rewrite that original equation and then we substitute negative 2.1 for n which gives us 2.4 times negative 2.1 equals 1.8 times negative 2.1 minus 1.26. And now we simplify. So on the left-hand side, we need to multiply 2.4 times negative 2.1. Do that calculation on the side. We end up with negative 5.04. If we write on the left-hand side of the equation, and then we simplify the right-hand side. We start by the multiplication before the subtraction according to order of operations. So we have 1.8 times negative 2.1, and we do that calculation on the side, ending up with negative 3.78. We write that underneath, and now we need to subtract 1.26 from negative 3.78, we do that calculation on the side. Negative 3.78 minus 1.26, we add the opposite, so we have uh, two numbers with negative signs, so we just add them together, and we have negative 5.04. So the, both the left and right hand side are equal, which means our solution n equals negative 2.1 was correct. Problem number seven. Solve eight equals seven x minus four x. So on the right hand side of the equation, we simplify seven x minus four x to get three x, which we write in the line below. And we isolate x on the right-hand side of the equation by dividing both sides of the equation with 3. On the right-hand side, the 3's cancel to leave x by itself, and on the left-hand side, we have 8 thirds. And now we just flip both the right and left-hand sides to get x equals 8 thirds. We simplify 8 thirds to be 2 and 2 thirds. Now we check our answer by substituting 8 thirds for x in the original equation. So I rewrite the original equation, 8 equals 7x minus 4x, and I substitute 8 thirds for x. Begin by simplifying 7x minus 4x to get 3x. That will make the calculation easier. And then I plug in 8 thirds for x, which gives me 8 equals 3 times 8 thirds. The 3 in the numerator and denominator cancel, leaving 8 equals 8, which means the solution x equals 8 thirds is correct. Problem number 8. Solve 8 equals negative 7x minus 4x. We begin by simplifying negative 7x minus 4x. So negative 7 minus 4 equals negative 7 plus negative 4, which is negative 11. So 8 equals negative 11x. Now we isolate x on the right-hand side by dividing both sides of the equation with negative 11, which leaves negative 8 elevenths on the left-hand side and x by itself on the right-hand side. And we flip those two around to give us x equals negative 8 elevenths. Now we check our answer by using negative 8 elevenths for x in the original equation. We rewrite the original equation 
8 equals negative 7x minus 4x and substitute negative 8 elevenths for x. I begin by simplifying negative 7x minus 4x to be negative 11x and then I plug in negative 8 11 in for x which gives me 8 equals negative 11 times negative 8 elevenths. The negative signs multiply out to make it a positive, and the 11s cancel out, leaving 8 equals 8. So the solution, x equals negative 8 elevenths, is correct. Problem number 9. Solve 1 third a minus 5 equals 6. I begin by flipping negative 5 to the right-hand side of the equation by adding both sides of the equation with 5. On the left-hand side of the equation, minus 5 plus 5 cancels to 0, and on the right-hand side, we have 6 plus 5, which equals 11. So we rewrite that on the next line as 1 third a equals 11. Now we isolate a on the left-hand side of the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation with 3, 3 over 1. So on the left-hand side, the reciprocals cancel, leaving a by itself. And on the right-hand side, we have 11 times 3 over 1, which gives us 33 over 1, or just 3, 33. So a equals 33 we check our answer by plugging 33 in for a. So we rewrite the equation 1 third a minus 5 equals 6 and we substitute the number 33 for a. Now we have 1 third times 33 minus 5. Does that equal 6? 33 in the numerator divided by the 3 in the denominator equals 11 in the numerator, which leaves us 11 minus 5, and that does equal 6. So the solution, A equals 33, is correct. Problem 10. Solve y over 4 equals negative y over 2 minus 2 fifths. Begin by gathering like terms. So we bring negative y over 2 to the left-hand side of the equation by adding both sides of the equation with y over 2. So on the left-hand side, we have y over 4 plus y over 2. And on the right-hand side, we have negative y over 2 plus y over 2 minus 2 fifths. The y over 2 and negative y over 2 on the right-hand side cancel, which leaves negative 2 fifths by itself. And on the left-hand side, we rewrite y over 4 plus y over 2. And now we need to simplify on the left-hand side by converting the fractions into equivalent fractions with common denominators. So we multiply y over 2 with 2 over 2 so that it has a denominator of 4. And then we multiply y times 2, which gives us 2y over 4. And we rewrite the rest of the equation. We now have y over 4 plus 2y over 4 equals negative 2 fifths. Now we just add the fractions on the left-hand side. y over 4 plus 2y over 4 equals 3y over 4. And we bring down the rest of the equation. 3y over 4 equals negative 2 fifths. We isolate y by itself by multiplying with the reciprocal, both sides of the equation. So we have 4 thirds times 3y over 4 equals negative 2 fifths times 4 thirds. The reciprocals cancel, leaving y by itself on the left-hand side of the equation. We multiply out the fraction on the right-hand side to give us negative 8 over 15. Now we check our answer. Does y equal negative 8 fifteenths? 
by plugging in negative 8 fifteenths for y back into the original equation. We rewrite the original equation. y over 4 equals negative y over 2 minus 2 fifths. And then we plug in negative 8 fifteenths for y on the next line which gives us negative 8 fifteenths over 4 on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we have negative, negative 8 fifteenths over 2. Make sure you don't drop your negative signs. And then we bring down the rest of the equation, minus 2 fifths. On the left-hand side, we simplify by multiplying both numerator and denominator by the reciprocal of 4, which is 1 fourth. And to keep my equations tidy so that I don't get confused and make mistakes, I do that calculation on the side. I have negative 8 fifteenths over 4 times 1 fourth in both the numerator and denominator. So on the denominator, the 4 times 1 fourth multiplies to be 1. And on the numerator, 8 uh, cancels with 4 to give 2. So we now have negative 2 fifteenths written on the left-hand side of the equation. On the right-hand side of the equation, we also need to simplify the fraction um, by multiplying both numerator and denominator by the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 half. And again, I do that calculation on the side. The negative sign in front of the negative sign in the parentheses cancel, or they multiply out to be positive. So that leaves me 8 fifteenths over 2. When I multiply both numerator and denominator by the same fraction, I'm just multiplying by 1. I don't change the value of the equation. And now I simplify. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. I leave that in the numerator, and I have 4 fifteenths as my fraction. So I bring that fraction over to the right-hand side of the equation, and I write down uh, the rest of the equation, which is minus 2 fifths. So now I need to check, does negative 2 fifteenths equal 4 fifteenths minus 2 fifths? So now I focus on the equation, 4 fifteenths minus 2 fifths. I need to convert the fraction 2 fifths into an equivalent fraction with the common denominator of 15. So I multiply both numerator and denominator by uh, 3, which gives me 6 fifteenths. So now I have 4 fifteenths minus 6 fifteenths, and that does equal negative 2 fifteenths. So my solution, y equals negative 8 fifteenths, is correct. Problem 11. Solve 3x minus 12 equals 18. Begin by separating the variable expressions from the numerical expressions by adding both sides of the equation with 12. So we have 3x minus 12 plus 12 on the left-hand side of the equation, and on the right-hand side we have 18 plus 12. The 12s cancel on the left-hand side, leaving 3x by itself, and 18 plus 12 equals 30 on the right-hand side. Now we isolate x by itself by dividing both sides of the equation with 3, which leaves x on the left-hand side and 10 on the right-hand side. Now we check our answer. x equals 10. Back with the original equation, 3x minus 12 equals 18, plugging in the number 10 for x. So we rewrite the equation, and we substitute 10 for x, which gives us 3 times 10 minus 12. Does that equal 18? And we have 3 times 10, which equals 30. 30 minus 12 does equal 18, therefore x equals 10 is the correct answer.
final example, problem 12. Solve 5y equals 7y minus 18. We begin by bringing the variable expressions over to the left-hand side of the equation by subtracting both sides of the equation with 7y. So on the left-hand side, we have 5y minus 7y equals 7y minus 7y minus 18. 7y minus 7y cancel, leaving negative 18 on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, 5y minus 7y equals negative 2y. And so we isolate y by dividing both sides of the equation with negative 2, which leaves us y equals negative 18 over negative 2. Negative 18 divided by negative 2 equals 9. Now we check our answer y equals 9 by plugging in 9 or y into the original equation 5y equals 7y minus 18. So we rewrite that equation as 5 times 9 equals 7 times 9 minus 18. Is that equation equal? Multiplying those numbers out we get 45 on the left hand side and on the right-hand side, we have 63 minus 18. 63 minus 18 does equal 45. So the solution, y equals 9, is correct. The exercises for this lesson are found on pages 113 and 114. Please do as many problems as you need to get a firm grasp of the material. And please check your answers with the solutions on page 301 to make sure you did the problems correctly. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for joining me at Do The Math America.